Welcome to Easy Limu, Learning Simplified. My name is Eric, and uh, I'll be taking you through the topic Natural Numbers under the subtopic Total Values. So we will start by looking at what does it mean when you talk about total value, and uh, then we'll be looking at how then do you find the total values of digits within a given number, and then after that we look at some of the problems that are involving total value of numbers. So you can see we will go through the meaning of total values of numbers and then we look at some of the problems or how to solve certain problems involving total values of numbers. And then at the end of the topic, we'll be able to give you uh, certain questions to help you with the understanding of what total values of numbers is all about. So what does it mean when you talk about a total value of a digit in a given number? So basically this simply means the numerical value a digit has as a result of its position within a given number. So you can have a number like 247612. See this number here. This number has uh, different digits starting all the way from 2, you know, 4, seven six one and finally two now each of these digits is supposed to be having a different total value so what, what you're able to see is that the total value of a digit depends on its position simply means then like one here would be having a different total value from two and seven will be having a different total value and as well two there will be having a different total value so we'll be able to see how does that happen we could also have a number like 7461, so 7461. This number has different, it has different digits. We have one there, we have six, we have four, we have seven. So each of these digits is supposed to be having certain value. And uh, possibly somebody will be asking a question, why then do we need to get the total values of different digits? Why it is important is because for you to get the value of a number like 7461, then it means you need to sum up the total, the, the total values of each of the digits. Starting from total value of 1, you add it to the total value of 6, you add it to the total value of 4, and you add it to the total value of 7, and that is what is going to give you the total value of the entire number. You know, this, this number here is 7,461. So we arrive at that by looking at the total values of respective digits within the given number. So let's look at a few examples that will be able to help us with the understanding of how you arrive at the total values of digits within the given number. And uh, here is the first question you want to look at. State the total values of each digit in the number below. And the number is there. So this number has uh, a number of digits. The number is 239,176.058. We want to see how do you state the total values of respective digits within this given number. Of course, starting from 2, 3, 9, 1, 7, 6, 0, 5, 8. How do you state the total values of these digits? So if you start with 2 or Maybe you start by identifying a number like 2, and then you check what is the place value of, of such a digit. Like we start with 6 here. Yeah? Remember, uh, stating the place values is one of the concepts that you have looked at in one of our previous videos. Possibly you can look out and check uh, if you have problems with stating the place values of digits. So the place value of digit 6 is 1s, then 10s, 100s, 1000s, 10,000s, 
and 100,000. So if you want to get the total value of digit 2, you multiply by 100,000. And so the total value will be 200,000. If you pick 3, for example, remember you have to check what's the total, uh, what's the place value of such a digit. What is the place value of the digit? So you identify the digit first, and then you look at the total value of, I mean, you look at the place value of the digit. So 3, what is the place value? So remember, 1s, 10s, 100s, 1000s. 10,000. So you multiply by 10,000. And that is going to give you 30,000. If you go to 9, you identify the digit first, then you multiply, check the place value. So starting from 6, again, we have 1s, 10s, 100s, 1000. So you multiply by 1,000, and that is going to give you 9,000. Let's look at 1. So the place value of digit 1, starting from 1s, 10s, 100s. So 1 times 100, and that is going to give us 100. So 1 times 100. That is giving us 100. So 1 times 100, remember 100, you've gotten it from the place value of digit 1. So you multiply by 100, and uh, that is going to give us 100. So 100. If you pick 7, you check the place value of digit 7, that is 1's, 10's. So 7 by 10, that is going to give us 70. And then 6, total value of digit 6. What is the place value of digit 6? 1's. So you multiply by 1, and that is going to give us 6. What about zero? What is the total value of digit zero? So zero, you multiply by the place value of this zero is tenths. Tenths means one over ten. And that is going to be zero point zero. How about five? How about five here? So total value, you check the place value, which is uh, tenths, and then for five, it is hundreds. So hundreds means one over a hundred. That is going to give us 0 0.05. How about eight? So if you are stating the total value of the digit, you write the digit first, and then you check the place value. So tens hundreds and thousands so thousands means one over a thousand which is 0 0.008 as the total value of digit eight so if you are to find the value of the number then you simply needed to add this you add to this you add to this you add to this you add to six to zero and then add 0 0.05 and then finally the last one and that is what we'll be able to give us the number that we are having here as our total value that is 239,176.058 so if you want to get the total value of the number given you add the total values of all the digits that are within within the number So you are able to see the total values of the respective digits, starting with 2, you can see, 200, we have 3, uh, 
30,000. So we have the total values of the respective digits. Starting from 2, there is 200,000. And then we have 330,000. And then we have 9, 9,000. Of course, we, we had seen this. We have 1, 100. We have uh, 8, 0 0.08. We have uh, 5, 0 0.05, and so on and so forth. So here is an exercise to help you gauge whether you have understood the concept or not. And of course, you can always uh, attempt the question and uh, indicate the answers on the comment section. You'll be able to look at the, the, the working and you'll be able to give feedback accordingly. Otherwise, uh, keep looking out for our, our, our next videos on the next uh, subtopic the same topic things like rounding off and others that you're going to see otherwise thank you